guys. So today I'm going to be doing a very simple tutorial on how to make good looking uh, Smash Bros Brawl and Project M CSPs or character selection portraits. Now there's two main ways of doing this and the first one is to just take a, fo or a screenshot in Brawl or Project M and uh, Uh, and then just convert it into a JPEG image and cut out the sides and all that. And it looks okay, but it can be a bit iffy on some models and depending on where you take the stage, or on uh, what stage you take it on. So I'm going to show you how to do them more professionally. So the first thing you'll need for this is um, Autodesk uh, 3ds Max or Maya. I'm going to be doing it in Maya because I'm on OS X and OS X doesn't have 3ds Max, but most people use 3ds Max. So the first thing you're going to want to do, oh, you also need uh, Brawl Box, obviously, and um, the other thing you'll need is uh, a skin. So I've already got my skin, and we're going to be looking at uh, Toon Link today. I'm going to be doing a Fierce Deity style Toon Link. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your Brawl Box and export all of the text, well not all of the textures. Um, it's easier if you do just the open eye textures because if your eye is closed, if you have um, a closed eyelid on your texture, they can be uh, difficult to open. So it's just easier if you use the full eye. So export the iris, the uh, most open eye you can find. Um, don't get the yellow eye texture. Make sure you get the arms and the legs, all the body textures. It varies on character to character. For example, uh, Zelda has all of her textures in um, basically two large images, but Toon Link has his across several. So there's the body, and there's the head, etc., etc. And the Maya, the Mayas, uh, I couldn't figure out what they were at first, but they're his forehead, and I think you'll need at least two of those. And he's got a bunch of different mouths, I used this one for the tutorial. So anyway, uh, export them all into a folder. Oh, and you'll have to export them, the uh, model as well. Um, if you're using Brawlbox on Mac, your Brawlbox might crash when you select the model preview, that doesn't matter. If you export the model as a, a .dae file, uh, you should be fine. So we don't need Brawlbox anymore. So export all that stuff into a folder. Mine's called Toon CSP. You can call yours whatever you want. Go into Maya or 3ds Max. I'm not really exactly sure how to do this in 3ds Max, but I know they're by, both by Autodesk, so it can't be that different. And it's actually way easier than you'd think. Now, it's I'm not going to teach you how to do all the UV mapping for your texture here. Uh, that's pretty hard to do, so just unless you already know how to do that, I'd recommend just finding one on uh, Brawl Vault. Desktop, go to CSP, and you find the .day file, and then you just wait a bit, and then it'll import the model. Now you can. There's three different renderers that uh, rendering pieces of rendering software that Maya has, and one of them is uh, Viewport 2, Legacy Default Viewport, and Legacy High Quality Viewport. That's uh, Legacy Default Viewport, and I usually use Legacy High Quality because it gives me the best results. So you can see all those little purple wrappers. Uh, those are basically joints or pieces that you can move on the model. And in Maya to move them, you select this rotating bit and then you just click on one and then you can move different stuff, but that's not what I'm gonna show you right now. To texture your model, go into shading and assuming you've uh, gotten everything uh, into your folder correctly, it should work by clicking hardware texturing and your model will be fully textured. Now, if you can see, I've got a bit of a black forehead on my um, Toon Link model, and that's because any totally blank PNGs your uh, Maya renders will be rendered as black. And to fix that, you go into Windows, Rendering Editors, Hypershade, and see these? These are the two Maya, uh, Mayu files, and that's his forehead and you can see the common material properties in there. And what you're going to want to do, I'm going to turn this on, um, is just turn the transparency all the way up. 
so that they're not rendered as black, they're rendered as transparent. And that is the easiest way to do everything. See right there, now his forehead is nice and clear again. Alright, so what you're going to want to do, just click front. That'll bring you the default, uh, default position of the model. Now, for some characters, uh, some Sword and Shield characters, I believe Marth has this as well, they will have two swords, or two, in Link's case, uh, two swords and two shields. I, for this tutorial, won't be removing this, but I will be cleverly hiding it, because, and that's fairly easy to do, just put it behind his leg. So as long as you aren't, as long as you're taking the CSP screenshot from the front, or from, uh, from a left angle, or even from above, you should be fine, but if you're taking it from the right, it'll look a bit weird. So, to move his arms and legs and all that, you just get, you just click on uh, the joints. Now this can be a little difficult, you might click on the wrong joint occasionally. Um, to, to find his shoulder joint, click around his neck area and to the side that you want obviously and for his elbow joint click on the I guess the top part of his arm I don't really know what that's called not the forearm but the bit above it um, and then just pose so the outermost one will move it up and down the red one will tilt it uh, forward and backwards and this will move it side to side the yellow one so I want him to be striking an action pose for a CSP, because that's what a good CSP would look like. So this is just basic positioning stuff. I'll probably do. I'll probably go into more detail on this later. But for now, I'll just show you the basics. And the controls in Maya uh, to rotate your model on a Mac, it's Command Click. I think I have this right now. No, that's still his full shoulder joint. Probably, for most Sword and Shield characters, you'll want the shield facing you. Anyway, so, and then when that's done, I'll edit this later. It's probably going to look like, uh, be what it'll look like in the final build. But something, something like that. Uh, anyway, and then to take your screenshot, um, don't actually take a screenshot. On a Mac, that's, I believe, uh, Shift-Command space or something like that, or Shift-Command-Click. I'm probably totally wrong, but that's just what I remember. Uh, click one of these. These are render windows, that's render settings. Go IPR. Take you to render view, and you'll see this. And uh, just I didn't save it, but I think if I don't save it, it'll I'll say just continue. Yeah, okay. Um, please don't quit. I'll be mad at you if you quit. On me. Yeah, it did. Anyway, but that is how you make it. And to um, save it, to save your pose as, a, as an image, you just go to File in the top left-hand corner of that uh, of your of that uh, render view there. And there's a click save, and you just save it wherever you want to. Now the images tend to be a bit dark, so I'd recommend going into Photoshop or something like that. And um, brightening it. But yeah, that's a basic tutorial on how to make uh, good CSPs. And you can use this on a, basically every model you get, and they'll pretty much all start in a T-pose depending on where you get them. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.